Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Now the great thing is, it's kids helping kids a lot of times, you see on this uh, wonderful Miracle Weekend. And uh, these are the kids from Gilpin, and, and, and they actually, they brought me some popcorn. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off though. Uh, Brenda Montagano, did I get that right? Montagano. Brenda Montagano, let me start again. Brenda, thank you for coming. And uh, Andrew Morrissey. I got that right though. Yes, you did. Okay, Brenda, you tell us, what did you guys do to raise money? So we had two fundraisers. Um, first of all, we had a carnival, and the grade six, seven leadership students came up with the idea. We ran a noon hour carnival for five days, and there was popcorn. That's As popcorn. I can see. Yes, popcorn, they brought in baking, ran a bake sale, they came up with three different games, played the games, and uh, that was about $1,700 worth of what we raised. And then we also uh, had the jeans day and sold the buttons. And we have two miracle kids that uh, at our school, and they took that on, and uh, they raised another thousand dollars or so for us. Can you tell us about the two kids? Uh, Justin is my student, and uh, he's a wonderful little boy. He's in grade one, and uh, really great, and uh, smile every day. All right, now we're going to make everybody smile now because you guys have some money for us, right? Is there a check somewhere? Do we have a check. Go ahead. You guys can turn over now. There is the check. $2,769.11. Thank you, ladies. And thank you guys as well. Thanks for coming. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia. And I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere and I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born, it was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Thank you, BC. One. One.
Absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much. Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful eyes. You can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above